Damascene Rose. Settled in his haven by the West's eastern edge, a mustached refugee crushes pistachios as he confects bonbons by the dozen, molten goop overflowing trays whose molds now include maple leaves and syrup in addition to the traditional roses, pyramids, and hearts, a heartfelt gesture toward a promising land wherein his familial fortunes have revived. Aromas of cocoa, honey, hazelnuts, and almonds permeate the factory, arousing memories of his grandmother's saccharine kitchen, blaring speakers calling believers to prayer, the strum of the oud, bubbling hookah pipes, the scent of jasmine in the old city, warm desert winds in the afternoon, and the stark aftermath of missiles. The recipes, gourmet and carefully guarded, once the envy of Syrian rivals, have adjusted. Newly detectable in sectile sheets of milk and dark chocolate is a bittersweet soupçon, the flavor of nostalgia for a homeland dam by sinister twins, terrorism and tyranny, though this taste is balanced by another note, full and rich, the secret ingredient of gratitude.